Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you are, thank you so much for coming back to my corner of the internet. Today we're going to play in the Winky Lux Mermaid Kitten Eyeshadow Palette and create something fresh and springy for the beginning of the season. So if you'd like to see what look I create using this gorgeous color story, stay exactly where you are because we're getting into it right now. We're going to start today's look by priming the eyes with the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Base and the P. Louise Base in the shade Rumor 02. I'm almost out of the shade Fair in my Clean Canvas, so I wanted to mix the two just so I could prolong the life of the clean canvas for as long as possible. I don't want to waste any product. I think for today's look, I want to roll with like the spotlight halo effect. This is going to be a super easy, quick, fresh spring makeup look. And this palette is literally perfect to get that. The only downside I would say, it's not really even a downside, it's just really a preference. Is there's only two matte shades, so you can either go dark green with the matte or light pinky coral with the matte. Luckily what I have in mind is just using those darker shades for the halo effect and then making a wing with some of the lighter shades so we can still get some of that spring brightness in there but still keep it mermaidy and vampy a little bit. So with seaweed I'm just going to start applying that to the outer half of the crease as well as the inner half of the crease. Now while I'm plotting out the shape, I want to make sure that I keep my forehead relaxed looking forward so I can see that this green shows partially as I look up, but I want to make sure it connects. So as I follow this line up and out, I want it to act like it would connect right here. And that way when I add in the spotlight slash halo, whatever you want to call it, I'll have sort of a guide to follow that I can follow the arch with and make it more cohesive in the end. Wow, that shade is so vibrant. It's a very vivid green. It actually does remind me of seaweed a lot. I'm also gonna go ahead and pull it down into the outer V just to get some dimension on that lid a little bit before I go in with any kind of shimmer. And you already know I'm really not worried about the mess right now. It'll all be cleaned up in the end. I'm not worried. It's always a trust the process process every time I do my eyeshadow. Now with the green done, I didn't know for sure if I was gonna do this. I was kind of thinking I was gonna leave this like a graphic wing sort of shape and then just clean up the edge. Edges, but I think I want to use the other matte shade. So I'm gonna go in with pink sands right here and go ahead and just blend out seaweed with pink sands. I'm just gonna make pink sands pretty much the other shade of my eyeshadow look. So I'm first just gonna pack it in this inner corner where there's no shadow. And to begin with, I'm packing away from the green. I'm not even getting close to it yet. And then just sort of buff out these edges towards the bridge of my nose as I apply. Oh, these are such good shadows. And I'm still gonna take this all the way through. So I'm not skimming on any part of it and I'm still leaving this center spot open that way shimmers can go there and it's not gonna be packed with a bunch of other color but now that I've placed the majority of that pigment away from the green I'm gonna start just lightly placing the point is I don't want to get my brush covered in the green and have the brush have a darker color on it because then my blending will just get muddy and the green will go too high so I'm just gonna start placing pink sands right on the border of the pink and green see there's slightly just a little bit of overlap there and I'm gonna do that all the way around Really, I should be using a smaller brush, but I'm not. You can also do this the other way around, where you would place all the pink down, then you would go back in with the green and start blending that. But since I have hooded eyes, I try not to bring the darkness way too high up. I don't have a lot of space to work with, so I like to keep them a little more separated than that. Okay, I think I am now done with the mattes. I really don't know what I think about this look yet. I'm kind of not loving it but I'm hoping that once I kind of clean everything up, put the shimmers on, everything's just gonna kind of come together. Lashes and liner usually make everything come together. But let's go ahead and move on. Worst case, I can just scratch this whole video and film something else. But now I'm gonna use the shade Siren, the shimmery green right here. And that's gonna be the beginning of our spotlight slash halo effect and it's gonna go all over the center. This shade looks absolutely stunning on this brush. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, let's pat out any creasing we've got. We don't want to lock that crease into place. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, that's hot. I sort of love the fact that it's got just a tiny little bit of blue in it. Definitely mermaidy. And as always, since I am super, super hooded, we're going to take this shade way high up. That way, when I relax my forehead and just look forward at you, you'll still be able to see it. Just look at that. Look at how vibrant and glowy that is. Perfect shade for this spotlight. Siren is looking beautiful for this spotlight. It's just making that center pop and shine, but I wanna add a little tiny bit of brightness right to the immediate center of that. So I'm gonna take sea foam all the way up and I'm gonna take this all the way down the center. Look at that, already emphasizing that spotlight, but I think I wanna use my finger a little bit. I wanna make it dramatic.
Yes! Finally, it's time to clean everything up so I can actually start to see if this is coming together the way that I want or not. I've been so haphazard packing that shadow on. I've got shadow everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up, clean up, clean up. Everybody everywhere. Is it just me or does a little bit of cleanup just make everything better? Now I'm going to attempt to cut out a wing using some Vaseline and an angled liner brush or just an angled brush, I guess. But I'm gonna try to make it pretty big because I still wanna also put on a black liner right up against my lash line. Now that it's cut out with the Vaseline, I can take a pointed cotton swab and remove all of the excess eyeshadow and Vaseline that's left over. Now that I've cut out the wing shape using the angled brush and the Vaseline, I'm gonna go in with some more eyeshadow base and another angled liner brush and just carve that out with the base. Now with the base completely down on that wing shape, I'm gonna take the shade topless and just start packing that on it. That's gonna help pull the pinky orangey colors to the lid as well. Oh, that's gonna be so perfect. As long as I can manage to fill this shape. It is so hard for me to do wings like this because I am so hooded. But as long as I've got that like weird edge right there where it kind of bows upward and then goes in, I can pull it off with a wing shape. I'm just gonna have a lot of transfer and I know I'm going to. So I'm trying to keep my lids stretched out for as long as possible. That is so cute. Oh, I love that so much. Again, I don't want to relax my forehead because I know that green and pink are gonna transfer on top of one another, but it's so pretty. Do I still have a wing if I do relax though? Yes, yes I do. And she's a cute wing too. Both pink wings are on. Now let's add a really thin black wing. This is literally just for for the aesthetic of lashes and to cover up that lash band. So it doesn't really need to be thick at all, just as thick as a lash band is. Now that all of the liners are done, we can curl the lashes. And before I go in with mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on my lashes. Lashes for today are the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up XL Collection. Blech, gosh, that's a mouthful. I think these are Night Dress is the official name of them. If you'd like to grab a set of these lashes, there is a Kiss affiliate link in the description of this video. If you do use that link, I do make a slight commission on any purchase you make from Kiss. So if you do in advance, thank you so much. If you don't, it's fine too. So let's just get a nice bead of glue on these lashes here. Okay, and while we're waiting for that to tack up a little bit, put on a light coat of mascara. When I say light coat, I mean like as much as it takes to get my lashes fully coated. Now let's get this lash plopped it down. Just gently tap it to the outer lid. Okay, got it on there. And then press it into the inner lid. Perfect. Wow. I forgot how bold these were. That's a big old lash. Whew. I think I feel the wind from it hitting my arm. It'd be like, turn the fan on, it's cold in here. Ooh. Triple push-up? Definitely. I mean, this is like butterfly legs on my eyes. They're so big and so fluffy and so fluttery and they're so perfect for a springtime look with double wings. Okay, I'm so ready to see this look all the way finished. So I'm gonna pop off camera, do all of my face makeup and I'll come back with a finished look. It's official. Now that everything is on, now that I've built up this nice pinky glowy blush, this beautiful Amrezy highlighter, this gorgeous Winky Lux lip, and now that everything is just on and the look is done, I love this eye look. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little scared. It didn't look good at first. I didn't think it looked good at first. It looked very haphazard and messy and I really didn't think that the green being so separate from the pink was gonna work out. I didn't wanna over blend those shades and then them make a muddy brown color in the middle. I didn't want it to be pink brown green. I wanted it to be pink green. So by attempting to stay subtle on the blending, I was afraid that it was gonna be unblended. But I really like how this came out. I really enjoy this look. The spotlight's amazing. The wing, the pink wing specifically, is not covered in green, which is super surprising to me because, I mean, it should be, but it's not. It's funny, the black eyeliner actually has a lot of green on it, but the pink eyeliner doesn't. I love that. So I know this was just a quick, cute, let's create a look out of an older palette that I had kind of moment, but what do you guys think of the look? I keep forgetting to do this, and you guys keep forgetting to remind me 
to zoom in and show you a close-up of the eye look so you can actually see it in detail. Sometimes I don't want to at the end though. Sometimes I'm like, mmm, she wore a little rough. But not today. Today we look quite pleasant. It's very springy. It has me ready to go outside and play in the sun and pick some flowers. I like it. But let me know what you guys think. Let's chat in the comments. Give me your thoughts, opinions, and emotional outbursts. You know the drill. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and you like content like this, don't forget to hit subscribe right down there and hit the little notification bell right beside subscribe so that you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. Also, I want to thank you guys so, so much for the continued support on my custom fragrance with Scentcraft. This is Resurgence, and when you order, you also get two mini fragrances that pair perfectly with Resurgence. The fragrance I created has top notes of ocean, black pepper, and grapefruit, leaving the fragrance feeling really light and fresh. But then it has heart notes of patchouli, cardamom, and Turkish rose to give it more of that well, <laughs> hearty, sweet fragrance, but not overly sweet. It's unisex, so it can go both ways. That's why I paired the additional two fragrances with it, so that you can choose one to go a little more musky and be a little deeper if you want, or you can choose the other to go a little more citrusy and lighter if you want. And it has base notes of cedarwood, vetiver, and musk, giving it that really clean, fresh undertone. Listen, to me, it's literally the perfect fragrance, especially being combined with the additional fragrances, so that you can push it any direction if you just have a different mood. But I just wanted to thank you guys for the support on the fragrance and also let you know that if you would like to purchase it, it is available in the link down below. If you enjoyed this video and you've already hit subscribe, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button too just to let me know that you enjoyed it. Also, if you like this look and you want to see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!